everybody, welcome to the NC Real Estate YouTube channel. I am so, so, so happy that you're over here. This week, we are gonna be discussing the ultimate reality about getting finance. in this YouTube video as I do usually because I think it's very important that you understand this and the realities about getting finance for your property. I know there is so much information out there which says you can buy a property, refurbish it, remortgage it immediately and everything is hunky-dory. Well actually in fact mm, I don't really think that's the case. So over the last seven days I've been looking to buy a property in Nottingham and it's going to be a HMO conversion so I'm buying a property I'm going to be turning it into HMO. Don't worry I've checked all the article 4 stuff I know that I can do this. My biggest problem has been that I haven't been able to get finance easily for it and I have a load of people that I can go to. I have mortgage brokers, I have people that I know at banks who say that they'll lend to me or my limited company, I have private investors that I can use as well. I must have a list as long as my arm of people that I can go to. But here's the thing that I learned this week. Deals aren't for everybody. You need to be going out there and finding people who actually want to do your deal with you and want to finance it. Because actually some deals are really, really specialist. I didn't need a lot of money for this deal. I need somewhere just under £100,000, which actually isn't a lot for a lot of investors. And so the return on lending to me really wouldn't be that much. For other investors, Nottingham just didn't excite them. They said, well, actually, we like to be further south, so we'd prefer to invest somewhere down here. We're not going to lend you at this time. Other people didn't like the remortgaging strategy, they were a bit hesitant about it and as much as I can say I'm buying it for this, I can remortgage it for this so I can take all the money out of it, some people just weren't 100% confident that that could happen and even though they've trusted me on deals before, this deal just perhaps didn't work for them. But here's the thing. I was super confident that this deal would work and it would be an awesome deal to do. I wasn't put off by the fact that people were saying to me, NC, I like it, you always come to me with good investments, but this one just isn't for us. And as the list got shorter of people that I could ask, I really didn't feel anywhere in my heart of hearts, oh my god, this might not work for me. It just made me think, actually, the ultimate reality of getting finance nowadays is that you've got to match the deal with the right investor. And things aren't going to be for everybody because people can be so specific with it nowadays because there are so many deals out there. Loads of people are in the market constantly giving investors deals to analyse and saying, look, lend to me on this, this is a good deal because of this. And slowly but surely investors get very much sidetracked onto lines of investments that they actually really, really like lending on and investments that really excite them. So really, what I've learned this week is actually that it's a real good idea to go to every single investor, every single lender, every single bank that you know to go to in regards to a deal, but not to expect that everybody is going to come back and say yes to you. And be accepting of the fact that it's actually probably not your deal that is the issue. Yeah, sometimes you're going to get feedback which says, it just doesn't work, stop trying it. And if you get a lot of that, yeah, do you think to yourself, what am I analysing here? Should I go back to the drawing board? But if people aren't coming back to you and saying, I'm not lending to you because the deal doesn't stack up, and they're simply saying to you, I'm not lending to you because it doesn't interest me, and that's not the right kind of investment that I really want to be looking at, actually, you can then think to yourself pretty confidently that you've got something good, but you need to be finding the right investor. So happily for me, after a week of searching, I found someone who said to me, actually, yeah, I'd really love to get on board with that, di that deal with you. And it's not my first point of call investor either. It's someone who I don't necessarily go to for all my deals, but on this smaller deal has gone, yeah, I love it. I'm really, really excited. And this is what I'm trying to get across to you. 
don't get despondent if the first person you go to for funding doesn't say yes. I think you have to be very accepting in this market that a deal isn't for everybody. All you've got to have is some perseverance behind you to keep asking people for the funding and telling them honestly what you're looking for in return. Honesty is the best policy with this. And it might not be you that they don't want to invest in. It might not be the deal that you don't want to invest in. They just might not want to invest at the moment. Sometimes people have cash tied up. Sometimes people just don't like areas for personal reasons. There's nothing you can do about it. You've just got to know and feel confident in the fact that actually you've got a deal that really, really works and know that someone will lend to you. There's lending options out there for everybody, no matter what situation, no matter what circumstance, no matter what you're doing, no matter how much money you've got to put in. Your job as an investor is to go out there and find the person who will fund you. So you've got to be the matchmaker for that. You've got to bring the deal, you've got to bring the confidence, you've got to bring the knowledge that you know that this deal will work. Slowly but surely, you've just got to keep asking and eventually you will find the right person. But as I've said before, the current climate means that actually lending is fairly easy to get. I'm not saying it's the most easy thing to get, but it's fairly easy to get at the moment. But again, you've got to find the right lender that suits your deal and not give up before it's too early. If you've got a really good deal, have passion in it, feel it in your heart, know that it's something that will work really well in your portfolio and go for it. Go and find the funding that works for you. So I hope I've convinced you within this video that you can go and find funding if you so want it, but you've just got to keep asking until you find the right lender. It's as simple as that. Don't give up hope too early. So now I want to hear from you. Have you ever been in a position where you've constantly asked and it's not been the first couple of people who've lent to you and then you found the perfect person? Let me know in the comment section below because it will also help all of our viewers that watch this YouTube video. And if you want to get in contact with me and you want any help from me in regards to this video, then email me natasha at ncrealestate.co.uk and that goes for questions too because we answer all of the questions that you ask us on our podcast that comes out on a Tuesday. So the podcast that came out yesterday was answering all of last week's questions and the podcast that comes out next Tuesday will answer all of this week's questions. And we love, love, love hearing from you. So don't forget Get that if you email us we are definitely coming back to you that's it that's our promise at NC real estate that's what we do we give the best customer service and also remember that we do offer an eight-week property investment mastery program and if that would be something that interests you get in contact with me as well again the email address is natasha at ncrealestate.co.uk and for anything else you need property investment related head on over to my website www.ncrealestate.co.uk it's been an absolute pleasure having you over here with me this week. It's lovely seeing you and as always, come over, speak to me, join in what we're doing because we love to hear from you. Can't wait to see you next week.